Good morning. And we are off again, just leaving Market Drayton. And this is day eight of our canal cruise around the Four Counties Ring. It's not raining, so that's a good thing today. And uh, just leaving Market Drayton. That was a good night. There was a mu music festival overnight in, not overnight, but last night in Market Drayton. And uh, one of the bands was a Queen band playing Queen music. And the festival was in a public area about a mile away from the canal but we could uh, hear the music very clearly. So we actually went to sleep last night listening to renditions of Queen music. So that was good, the band was really good. And we got to listen to it for free, so even better. So now we're making our way uh, along the Shropshire Union Canal, heading north again. And we've got quite a few locks to do today not far to travel but the locks are in quick succession not sure how many will do maybe up to 20 locks today um, before we moor up for the night so anyway we will uh, show you things as the journey progresses today so cute to be a bridge with a top on it and now it's just two side walls with no top on and up ahead we've got some more residential moorings so we'll just keep at this slow pace for now looking a little sheepish under the trees aren't they The bridge up ahead is interesting because it is one of the bridges where the towpath has been on the left hand side of the boat for the last 20 miles and at this bridge it crosses over the bridge, the bridge is there to take the towpath to the other side of the canal. So in the olden days the horses would have been led over the bridge. They would have had to untie the ropes from the horses, of course, and then reattach them once they'd crossed over to the other side of the canal. Lush green fields everywhere. So we're at the first lock of the day. This is a set of five locks, one after the other in quick succession. Rhonda's already up there. 
Unfortunately, the lock was not in our favor, which means it was empty and we're going downhill. So she has to fill it before I can enter it to then drain it to drop us down to the next level. So likely all five locks are gonna be set against us. So take a bit longer about doing it this way, but Rhonda's my girl and she can do it. We're in Adderley Locks. Top gate holding back the water at the upper level, and we are sinking down to the lower level. Now, that is what you call one leaky lock gate. How much water is leaking in? It's crazy. So quick. 101 into how a lock works. I moored the boat just ahead of the lock and we're on the up hillside, the high side of the lock. When I get to the lock, what I do is I wind up this paddle, the one in the middle of the gate and the one over there. That opens three doors, if you like, and it allows water to flow into the lock and it raises the level of water in the lock to match the level of water outside the lock. Once they are equal in height, I'll be able to push the lock gate open with this massive bar. You cannot, you can't actually open the gate until the levels are exact because the pressure from the high side is much greater than the low side and it just won't allow you to open the gate. So that's how to get into a lock, to prepare a lock from uh, when you're going downhill. Now to get us out of the lock, we've come into the lock at the same elevation as the canal behind, and we are, sorry I'm going a bit fast here, I don't want to make you dizzy. So Rhonda went down to the exit gates and she's raising the paddles there, that's going to let the water out of the lock now. As the water comes out, we go down. So on this next lock, we had a boat that was coming up. So he's already filled the lock, and when he comes out, we just get to drive straight in. So it's a really good thing when you meet a boat coming the other way. Saves a lot of work. The view from the lock here is just wonderful countryside, so peaceful. It's just more uh, delightful scenery. It's really windy today. Uh, it's not warm at all, but the sun has come out. the sun out but it is rather chilly just done five locks and we're heading towards the Audlum locks where there's uh, 15 or so in a row and apparently there's a queue of boats waiting to get into them uh, the boat just coming the other way just told us that so hopefully the queue's not that long so this is the Audlum locks big series of 15 locks and this is number one of 15 we're going to go downhill for 15 locks in a row. Rhonda's going to be very tired after this. We are now on lock number, you should be able to see it down here, number eight. This uh, flight of locks is really really busy. We have to wait for two and three boats at a time. Uh, there's a boat coming up, another boat just went down, and now it's our turn next, so slow going, coming down this flight. 
and we've still got another 10 locks to do. Always nice to get some help. And we only have three locks to go, so that's good. 